Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use DLSS 4 and the int 8 model of FSR 4 in Devil May Cry Part 5. It's a game that only supports TA anti lasing which we can't even disable, produces noticeable shimmering in the environment. We have seen something similar in Resident Evil Remake games. I would not recommend using upscaling in this game, would recommend using native anti lasing that is DLA 4 and FSR 4 A. Upscaling in this game produces some noticeable graphical artifacts around a character's face. For example, Dante's beard will exhibit some shimmering. The game is quite old now and it's very nicely optimized on PC platform. I am pretty sure the drop in performance caused by DLA or FSR 4A won't be a problem for most of the PCs. We'll test the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll be using multiple free mods to achieve this. We'll be using RE Framework to load Pyoda's Upscaler Base plugin. Using it, I'll be loading DLSS and XCSS Upscalers. If you have a PC with an RTX GPU, just use DLSS Upscaler to activate OptiScaler mod. AMD GPU users can simply use XCSS Upscaler to activate OptiScaler mod. Using OptiScaler mod, I'll be injecting FSR 4 into the game. If you just want to use DLSS Subscaler, you don't need to use OptiScaler mod. For some reason, DLSS Upscaler Sharpness Slider did not work through RE Framework, but it worked fine with OptiScaler mod. Intate model of FSR 4 should work fine on PCs with RDNA 3 and RDNA 4 GPUs. RDNA 2 GPUs are also supported with modified GPU drivers. Even RTX GPUs support Intate model of FSR 4. But it comes with a big hit on the performance compared to DLSS 4 Transformer, so it's not recommended to use it. Now I'll be downloading the required files. First we have Predox RE Framework. You need to use its latest development release. It's available on GitHub. I'll give the link to this site in the description. Make sure you're signed to your GitHub account. Otherwise you won't be able to download anything from here. Scroll down until you find DMC5 under artifacts section. Just click on the download icon next to it. I'll also give the Google Drive link to this build in the description of the video. Download the latest version of DLSS Subscaler from Tech Power Ops website. At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.4.0. Click on download here. Now I'll be downloading Pyoda's Upscaler based plugin. It's available on Nexus Mods. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. This is very important. Do not use the latest version of Upscaler based plugin. It's the same thing in Resident Evil Remake games. You need to use an older version of Upscaler based plugin. This version. 1.1.2 otherwise temporal upscaler won't show up in RE framework menu click on manual download click on slow download download will start I won't be using the latest preview 5 version 0.9 build of OptiScaler mod as it was causing the game to freeze at startup with RE framework and upscaler base plugin installed FSR 4 upscaler worked fine with Preview 4 version 0.9202509222 build of OptiScaler. It's available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to it in the description. Now, frame generation did not work both FSR and XCSS, so I'll be skipping that. Click on the .7G link here. FSR SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the int 8 model of FSR 4. These files could be used to compile an FSR 4 DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user. Atli dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the go file link here. From this page, you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler dx12.dll file. Just click on download. First, I'll run the game without any mod install. Highlight the image quality with in game TA, in game settings, full HD resolution, display mode borderless window, frame rate, variable, vsync, or rendering method normal. Do not set it to interlace. Resolution scaling, max it out 100%. Ultra settings, anti lasing TA, can't disable it. Make sure post processing effects are disabled. Motion blur off. Bloom off. Lens flare off. Screen space reflection disabled as well. Chromatic vibration off. Yeah, that's it. We're in the games menu. Just observe Nero's prosthetic arm. Very ugly shimmering is produced around it. And just observe Dante's hair in the background. It's looking so pixelated. Yeah, we are in. Just observe Dante's face hair, his beard, producing a noticeable shimmering effect, even when he is completely stationary. 
the dead root in the background is also producing a shimmering effect during fast visual motion performance is not an issue here fps is close to 240 display is max refresh rate hitting the gpu bottleneck image quality is looking a bit soft considering this is the game running at full hd resolution with anti-lazing enabled equip my gun yeah some shimmering is produced around the gun's frame as well see not impressed with the image quality produced by TA. okay now i'll install the mods first i'll install re framework open its archive file open dmc 5.zip file copy this dll file t input it select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files paste the dll file here that's it re framework has been installed Next we have Upscaler Base Plugin, open its archive file, open Upscaler Base Plugin folder, copy this DLL file, pdperf plugin, need to paste it in the games install directory, where we install RE framework right here. Now I'll install DLSS for Upscaler, open its archive file that you downloaded from Tech Power of website, copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Need to paste it in the games install directory where you install RE framework right here. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files OptiScaler.ini, mods configuration file, OptiScaler.tll, mod loader file, live xcss.tll, xcss super resolution file for TX12 and Vulkan APIs. Not using Nucleus mod Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required. Select DX12 version of Fidelity FX Subscaler AMD Fidelity FX DX12.dll Loader file Right click Copy Need to paste them in the games install directory where we install RE framework Open the games install directory Paste them here Just need to change the name of OptiScaler.dll file to DXGI.dll Select the file right click rename and type DXGI just open optiscaler.ini file scroll down until you find menu section look for a line name overlay menu and set it to false now you should be able to open both re framework menu and optiscaler menu at the same time scroll down until you find spoofing section under this section look for a line name dxgi and just set it to false it's set to auto by default even this setting should automatically disable DXGI spoofing on RTS GPUs and even AMD GPUs when using this build of OptiScaler. Click on File, click on Save, Close. Now I'll be installing the Intate model of FSR4. This is not required if you have a PC with an RTX GPU and just want to use DLSS. Just copy FSR4 Upscaler's DLL file that you downloaded from Reddit. Need to paste it in the Games Install directory where we install OptiScaler mod. Replace the existing file. That's it, we are ready to run the game. Play. At game startup, RE framework will get initialized. You can see its menu. Insert key is the toggle key for both RE framework menu and OptiScaler menu. So I'll just change the toggle key for RE framework. We'll set it to delete. Just expand configuration section. Click on menu key. Press the delete key on your keyboard. Yeah, now you should be able to toggle RE framework menu by pressing delete key. Expand Temporal Upscaler section. Make sure Enable setting is checked. If you want to use Native Anti-Lazing, just check this setting Use Native Res DLA. Uncheck Sharpness setting. Sharpness slider does not work for TLSS. I'll be changing the image sharpness via OptiScaler mod. Upscaler type DLSS. Quality level can be changed from here. It won't work now as I have enabled Use Native Res DLA setting. Debug options using the default settings, leave them as they are. If your PC has an AMD based GPU, upscale type will be set to XCSS by default as DLSS is exclusive to RTX GPUs. Now just press insert keyboard key to open OptiScaler menu. Click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler. From here, you can select the upscaler that you want to use. First, I'll test the game with DLSS version 310.4.0 input. Upscaler Base Plugin DLSS Upscaler DXGI Spoofing Off Frame Generation None 
auto export setting is disabled so i'll enable it from here under init flag section i'll also use optiscaler's performance overlay expand fps overlay section check this setting fps overlay enable full plus graph scale 1.4 base resolution 1919 by 1079 pixels of scale 2 full hd dla in order to change the image sharpness level just check the setting override under sharpness section default value 0.300 i'll stick with it if you want to increase the sharpness level move the slider to the right if you want to decrease the sharpness level move the slider to the left save and i close yeah we are in the games menu just observe dante's hair now it's not looking pixelated and that shimmering around nero's prosthetic arm it's gone now dlss4 is working dla load the exact same sequence now observe dante's character model oh my god the image quality it's looking so sharp and that shimmering around the beard it's almost gone now very good results produced by dla4 character model is looking so detailed realistic and just observe the vegetation here no shimmering is produced around the plants that dead root shimmering effect is pretty much gone now image stability it's looking very good fps dropped from 240 to 180 yeah, dla is considerably heavier than ta i'm not surprised we have seen something similar happening when using unreal engine luma mod that replaces the in-game ta implementation with tlss4 in unreal engine 4 games now i'll show you how to use tlss upscaler we'll be using its quality preset just open re framework menu uncheck this setting use native res tla click on the drop down bar next to quality level select quality now when you open optiscaler menu just check the base resolution at the bottom side yeah it dropped to 720p upscale to full hd this is tlss for upscaler working save and i close back to the game yeah image quality is looking a bit soft now and just observe dante's beard i'm observing some artifacts games ui elements they are looking a bit soft some jittering is also present i would not recommend using dlss subscale in this game i mean just check out dante's face noise is present around his face better to stick with dla okay now i'll show you how to use fsr4 native anti-lazing just open re framework menu check this setting use native res dla now it does not matter which quality level of the upscaler you use native anti-lazing will work click on the drop down bar next to upscale type and set it to xcss close re frameworks menu open optiscaler menu click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select fsr 3.x as the option click on change upscaler import change to xcss yeah intuit model of fsr4 is working in this game it's very important to enable this setting non-linear color space it won't be enabled by default without this setting you'll observe some ghosting in the game world model setting set to default automatically selected model zero for me it's the correct model fsr native anti-lazing auto explore setting is on no frame generation base resolution close to full hd upscale to full hd native anti-lazing save and i close using the same sharpness level 0.300 y optiscaler mod oh my god look at the fps drop to 140 with dla4 hey we were getting around 200 fps yeah i would not recommend using the intake model of fsr4 on rtx gpus but image quality it's looking clean and sharp some shimmering is produced around dante's beard dla4 produce a better looking image Still, the image quality is looking much better than what it was with TA. Not observing any ghosting around the game world. Yeah, FSR 4 native anti lazing is definitely usable. UI elements not looking soft. And there is no shimmering around the plants. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.